Hey everyone, this is literally going to be the third attempt at making this video. I hope it's the last time. I'm literally going gray trying to do this video. This past week of Big Brother, ugh, so much has happened. I mean, everything was just all over the place. All over the place. Candace's eviction speech was probably the best moment of Big Brother ever. She definitely earned a spot in a future All-Stars edition. That was absolutely amazing. And can someone please tell me if Alyssa is even on the show anymore? I mean, the first couple of weeks of the season, we thought that she was the show was rigged for her. And now you never even see her. Was she even a, a cast member anymore? Or did someone suck her out of the DR? And Gina Marie. we got to talk about Gina Marie. I mean, she's literally gone past Aaron in terms of being hated by America. After the comments that she made to Candace about uh, being adopted, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, she's just... I'm sorry, I'm having to go to the bathroom. Every time I talk about Gina Marie, I have to take a shit for some reason. Sorry. I mean, I'm all for big game moves, but seriously, Helen, seriously, Judd, I don't see where that was a big game move. That was one of your closest allies. Helen has gone from being one of my favorite players to one of my least favorite players, and that makes me sad. Judd's gone. So Allison Grodner decides to give us boring choices once again for America's vote for these stupid have-nots. I mean, these people, the way they've acted this week, they don't deserve any food. But if I had to give them food, I think I would probably make it something really disgusting, like fried cockroaches and fertilizer. But all joking aside, there is a more serious matter that we need to talk about this week about Big Brother, and that is Spencer Clausen. Now, Spencer Clausen, he's gotten in trouble before for his Hitler statements and for calling Andy, you know, faggoty Ann and um, Kermit the Fag. Well, he was making jokes this past week on the live feeds, which is just not something that you joke about. He was joking about he likes to beat off watching child porn. And he made comments that he especially likes it when they're like three or four years old, and you can tell they're in a basement. It's definitely, it's probably the lowest thing that anyone on this, this cast has ever said. And the police in Conway, which is the town where he's from, are now investigating him further into this matter to see maybe if there's a background here. They said they haven't found anything yet, but it's not something that, you know, parents are going to take lightly. And Union Pacific is definitely moving forward. They've made another statement about this, trying to distance himself from this type of behavior in the comments that he makes, and he's probably definitely going to get fired after he gets out of the house. So, we also have another Big Brother housemate that's probably also going to end up hitting the unemployment line as soon as they get out of the house, and this is Amanda Zuckerman. She was one of my favorites early on in the season, just like Helen. But then she made some, some racist comments. They've been getting progressively worse. She's been bullying the other house guest after for weeks. She had been talking about how Jeremy was a bully and she didn't like it, so she was defending the other house guests. And now she's become exactly what she claimed that she hated. She was the one that also confronted Aaron about her racism early on in the season. And now she's the one that's making racist comments. But she's no longer a realtor for her luxury realtor company. Realty company. How do you say it? She's no longer working there, and they've taken down her, her website. So a lot of people are distancing themselves from her as well. Allison Grodner, supposedly, you know, the head producer of Big Brother, is friends 
with Amanda Zuckerman, supposedly. That's what a former producer on the show claims. This whistleblower hasn't come forward with their name or anything. They claim that the show is rigged for Amanda to win. And it's starting to look like that might be possible. Ugh. Andy's HOH. That must mean a big game move is coming, right? Nope. These people have no souls. Gingers have no souls. So it's time to check some of my fan mail. Oh, here's some comments on my RuPaul's Drag Race review video. Quit smacking your lips. It's annoying. Oh, really? Is it now? Yeah, I don't see where it's a problem. You're welcome.